A strong two weeks of WWE television continued Tuesday night with an explosive SmackDown live that included the return of none other than the chairman himself, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Though McMahon did not factor into the show until the final segment, his looming presence was a storyline throughout the show. McMahon worked great going head to head with Kevin Owens who once again proved that he does not need a title to be a major player on either brand. There were also a couple championship matches, one title change, and plenty of other important storyline development on Tuesday evening, so be sure to check out the results, review and highlights below to catch up on WWE Smackdown from this week. Mr. McMahon returns, and takes a bump in a hot segment to open Smackdown. Owens hit the ring to explain that the threat of lawsuit following Shane McMahon's attack last week meant he basically owned WWE and the blue brand. Owens went on to pontificate about everything he would change on the show, some funny, some serious, and Dolph Ziggler even interrupted by coming out to McMahon's entrance music. Just as Owens was wrapping up, General Manager Daniel Bryan warned him that Vince McMahon would be in the arena to speak with him before the night was out. Later in the show, Owens was shown backstage coming up with his list of demands when he paused to tell Sami Zayn that he would be out of work and have to return to the independent circuit. He also approached Aiden English about signing the new Kevin Owens show theme. Mr. McMahon showed up to close the show, saying Owens did not respect authority, rather, he simply could not fight back against Shane. He then insulted Owens, saying he was weak for threatening a lawsuit instead of fighting. When you look in the mirror, how do you have any respect at all? McMahon asked. He then promised that, should Owens file the lawsuit, he would be fired from WWE immediately. Don McMahon said he suspended Shane not just for putting his hands on Owens but because he didn't finish the job and take him out for good. You made disparaging remarks about his family, my family, and you got what you deserved, said McMahon who reinstated Shane and set up a Hell in the Cell match with Owens for the pay-per-view. Owens made McMahon promise that he would not be fired if he beats Shane and that, if provoked, he could beat a McMahon senseless. McMahon then gave Owens a strong handshake and trash-talked him, leading Owens to headbutt McMahon, immediately opening a cut on the chairman's forehead. McMahon rose to try and attack Owens, but he was dealt a punch kick and super kick before Owens rose to the top rope and delivered a frog splash. As Owens walked off to the back, Stephanie McMahon suddenly appeared and stared Owens down before helping her father, who refused a stretcher, hobble to the back. Anytime you get Vinnie Mac on WWE television is a treat. But Vinnie Mac taking multiple bumps, showing color and receiving a frog splash from Owens? That's a hero storyline if I've ever seen one. It was a great use of McMahon and added a new wrinkle to the hitch match as Shane is now fighting for more than just himself but rather his family. One would expect Owens to beat Shane as Shane is usually good for big spots but often does the job in the end, however, perhaps this is an opportunity for a more developed storyline or something special to happen at the end of the PPV match. Owens was terrific throughout the show, as per usual. Hashtag the chairman at Vince McMahon just dropped big news on that fight Owens fight, that he's going to meet a Shane McMahon inside hashtag Hell in a Cell. Hash sdlivepick.twitter.com slash cnjqfnx4, WWE, at WWE September 13, 2017 and, new champions in a Sin City street fight for the tag team championships. The Usos defended the straps against New Day in the latest edition of their never-ending rivalry. And really, why would you want it to end? Question mark These teams simply cannot put on a bad match. It's truly incredible the work they do together no matter the situation. Big U was worked through early before Kofi Kingston got the upper hand and cleared the ring. Eventually though, the Usos had Big E prepped for elimination with a double superkick as they climbed the top rope to hit the double frog splash. Instead, Kingston woke up, tossed Jey Uso off the top rope flying through a ringside table and hit an insiguri on Jimmy Uso. Big E then picked him up and New Day nailed the midnight hour for the 1-2-3 to become the new tag team champions. Short and traded title reigns can often get stale quickly but such is not the case with these teams. The Usos and New Day have each won the titles from one another twice since March 21st. 
two of those title changes came on SmackDown and three have come in the last nine weeks. Still, every match between these teams is different and tremendous. I do not believe they have put together a clunker yet. Even the rap battle was more entertaining than one could have I.